G'day Legends, I hope you're all awesome on today's installment of 5 Minute Tones. We're going to take a look at the Vibraverb models in the Axe FX3. This particular app, I think, is most closely associated and renowned for its use by the one and only Stevie Ray Vaughan, a modified Vibraverb anyway. So this AB model, I don't know, this is one that I like the best and it kind of gets me to that bluesy zone the fastest. I'm using my old Strat with Sir Michael Landau pickups in it and we're going to pair this amp model up with an IR that I made that you can grab for free. This one is based on a Boogie 4x12 cab with some excellent Electro Voice speakers in it. It's a multi-mic mix, and all I've done is shave off a little bit of high end with the high cut in there. Let's start on the neck pickup of this Strat. Whenever I dial in anything for a Strat, I try to optimize it for the neck pickup because it's the pickup that I use the most. My guitar's wired up so that the tone control affects the bridge pickup as well. So if it's too spiky on the bridge, I'll just roll the tone control down a bit. But let's get started on the neck. Stock settings on the app. So it's got a vibe already. Probably a little bit tubby, so I'm going to pull some bass out of this, probably bring it around two or lower, and just boost a bit of treble to get some sparkle out of it. I want a little bit more drive out of this model, so I'll bump the gain up above six. Let's hear this. <laughs> Super dynamic in there, hitting really, really hard like I like to with a Strat in this kind of tone. It's got an awesome breakup and that IR is kind of neutral sounding. So you're really just getting the character of the guitar and the amp there. The kind of magic that you can bring out of this lives in the speaker tab though. And there's just a little bit of extra kind of pixie dust on here. This speaker drive control with the vibe reverb, I like to bring it up to about four and it just adds I don't know what you could describe this as. Just listen to it. To me, it just takes this sound and it gives me more of what I already like about it. Let's hear it. Oh, it's so good. It just kind of adds this sheen to it that makes me want to play guitar. That's what it's all about. So experiment with that. You can bring it up, say, to three. You can push it even higher. It might make it sound like your amp is melting down the higher you go. You might want that particular sound in there. You can also go to the power amp tab in here and you can play around with the speaker impedance and transformer drive and transformer matching. Uh, I believe from memory, Stevie Ray might have used Fibre verbs with basement transformers. So you would have got like an impedance mismatch in there. Basically you crank this a little bit, it's gonna give you a little bit more mid range. This trick works great with the Mark series models too. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Let's just polish this up really, really quickly. Let's add some reverb. I'm gonna to go to my blocks library and just load up this plate one setting from the blocks library. I have shared the blocks library. You can get it for free. And then of course, let's do something tube screamery-ish in front of the app. Maybe we will use this Maxoff 808. It defaulted to the valve screamer. You can see what I've been doing earlier, but Maxoff 808, let's bring the drive down, smash the level up and I'll bring the tone control up here. Again, adjust this to taste based on your guitar. We get this. <laughs>
The Viperverb is basically one of three fenders that I really love in the box here. The Band Commander does the sparkly clean thing better than anything else, in my opinion, anyway. You've got the Deluxe Reverb for your thing that just sounds like a Fender, and then you've got the Vibroverb for this kind of hot-rodded blues thing. Experimenting with different IRs is going to bring out a lot of different tones with this particular amp. There are some factory 1x15 IRs in there, which work great, but I really like it with this particular EV IR. And again, it was just kind of like a happy accident, kind of like my main LT TV mix that I've shared before as well. Put the mics on, shot it, and it sounded pretty good, and it seems to work really, really well with this particular amp. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you've got particular guitars and IRs you like to use with the Vibroverb, let me know. And if you've got requests for future five-minute tone videos, let me know in the comments as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.